We are here in Alvarado, Texas at Motorhome Specialists and we picked up our 2015 Integra Aspire from this dealership back in 2015. And we're here to tell you the truth about our buying experience. Come along for the ride. Authorized service center for a bunch of brands: Monaco, American Coach, uh, Fleetwood, and Holiday Rambler. And uh, I guess that would be Monaco. So we're getting our service done, uh, just oil change, filters, a bunch of other stuff. But it's literally right next door. So that's why we're here. That's the exact spot where we picked up our coach and did our PDI back in 2015. And now there's another Integra in it. All right, <laughs> so we're actually in the new version of our RV and there's definitely been some upgrades. This is a 2018 Integra um, Aspire mm -hmm. um, and we figured this was kind of a good spot to talk to you guys yeah nice and quiet and it's almost like our home but it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's our home with, with no stuff <laughs> so full disclosure guys um, you know we're not paid or compensated by motorhome specialists we didn't give them a heads up that we were really doing this video um, you know a lot of what we we experience with motorhome specialists is a very hands-off Kind of approach you walk in you say you want to check out some coaches and we'll talk about that more later but um, we did reach out to to um, rob brake who was referred to us by steve ewing who's a former uh, technician from here who did our pdi and helped us through the initial purchase um, rob was actually a little busy so we didn't get a chance to connect with him today but but um you know this is an opinion video on on our thoughts and you know the, the last thing to mention is we did purchase in 2015, that was three years ago, mm -hmm. so some things might have changed, um, but we want to kind of give you our, our opinion on, on, on how it was back then. This place is huge. There are tons of RVs of all different kinds, shapes, sizes. We'll put a full list of all the different brands that they carry in the article, but let's just say that list is very long. They also have a campground on site here, so when you buy your RV, you can stay there as you're getting all set up. Uh, they also have a hotel that's on site. It's not owned by them, but it's pretty much right next door, and you can stay there while you're getting your RV, which is pretty cool, too. So regarding the buying experience here, um, it's pretty low pressure and low key. Um, to give you kind of an idea of our experience in 2015, and kind of the same in 2018 you know we walked in said hi we're interested in looking at some some rvs can we grab a golf cart um we were not asked if you know who's your salesperson they didn't try to assign anybody to us um can i get a driver's license here's some golf cart keys yeah, this is what time we close <laughs> <laughs> bring it back by 5 30 yeah. <laughs> see you later good luck um you know and that's kind of that's really dependent on what every individual wants mm -hmm. um for me i had done so much research online i had already figured out 
what I kind of thought I wanted and what I didn't want. And I didn't really want to spend a lot of time with a salesperson trying to tell me what I liked and didn't like. So that worked out really well for us in terms of, of what we wanted. Right, exactly. And not to say that there aren't salespeople available here. If you want a salesperson and you want help and you have questions, they're more than happy to come out and help you. But we just felt that it was a very low pressure buying experience. I think especially from us coming from the Northeast, but yeah, we really enjoyed that. Yeah. And, you know, kind of not to say that this is bad, but, um, you know, being somebody who's pretty analytical and has got a kind of a technical background, um, once I did engage a salesperson, my questions were very specific. Um, and I think because of how massive the inventory is here, um, the sales folks that I did talk to, um, you know, I, I don't know if they really knew everything about the product, nor could they necessarily do that because there's so much product. So there were some, some issues just with, you know, because there's so much, I don't think anyone really had like a huge, like a really intimate knowledge of the product. Um, but you know, then it was such a big purchase. We could, you know, ask for help and they would get back to us and they'd say, I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out. And you know, our salesperson who's since moved on, we'll put the name of that person in the article. Um, you know, just so people know, but, um, was, was very helpful. And, you know, we, we did eventually get all the information we needed. One of the really great things about motorhome specialist is they are able to give you one of the best prices because they have such a large volume. They really are able to, uh, give you a good price and who doesn't like that? Yeah. I mean, to, to kind of like th their sort of motto, I guess, is, is to, to be very transparent about their pricing. It's sort of one of these, hey, we're gonna start with the best price and that's the best price. Um, you know, transparently for us, we actually looked at kind of when the market was the least busy and we made the decision that we wanted to, to look and kind of investigate purchasing in February when it was mm -hmm. very cold here and there wasn't a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, their advertised price at the time was very close to the price we ended up paying, and it was it was the lowest price we could find for the coach we were looking for um, anywhere online and with any dealership we called. So we didn't know about this, but I, I I guess there's a there's a policy or official unofficial policy here that they they do price matching. So if you have a better price from another dealership and it's documented, you've got it in writing, and it's a reputable dealership, they will. Um, you know, they'll beat the price. Uh, I don't know the details on that. I, you know, we can probably ask uh, Rob Brake on, on what that is and and uh, we'll put it in the in the full article description. But, uh, you know, how, who could, you know, that's great. You know, somebody who says, you know what, we're, we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to be undersold. We're going to make sure we beat every price. That's a, that's a nice. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. I, you know, who could beat that? Even though I, I kind of felt like we, we sort of knew what we wanted um, or we'd done like tons of research, like six months of research. To be completely honest, and this, is, this isn't motorhome specialist, but this is just how I felt when we got down here, and I actually came down alone um, when we first started because Kayla was working and I said, you know what, I'll narrow it down to like five choices and then you can come down and, and validate what I'm thinking. Um, after the first day with this many RVs to choose from, I I was worse off than I started. <laughs> um, I started out wanting to look at toy haulers and possibly investigating. Yeah, I don't think we really were serious about fifth wheels, but I did want to look at it. And um, once we came and we looked at the build quality of, of what we had looked at for that price range and the fact that we were going to full time in it, mm -hmm. um, it there was some... There, there was just so many floor plans and so many options that I, I remember calling Kayla at the end and just saying, I, I, I think I'm more confused now than I was yeah. before I got here. Took a lot of pictures and videos. That definitely helped. Yeah. <laughs> so we brought cameras and that way we could like rewatch the stuff after and be like, what did we like? Which one was it? But um, I think that maybe is like one downside of so much choices. Um, but, you know, conversely... I, I don't know if that's a downside. I mean, yeah, it's more complicated and it's overwhelming at first, but do you want to not know that something is available um, and then buy something and then find out later that you didn't buy necessarily mm -hmm. what you wanted? So I, I kind of think you have to almost give yourself more time 
if you're going to come to one of these mega mega dealerships. But at the same point, um, you know, I think you, you you probably increase your odds of making the right decision um, the first time around. So I guess after being kind of more overwhelmed, we then went and spoke to our salesperson and our salesperson really helped us to narrow down exactly what we were looking for. The kind of quality versus budget and what we really needed when we were looking for an RV that we wanted to live in full time. So they really did help us with finding something that we wanted, which was kind of more of an equality of an apartment style. Yeah, like they, you know, it was, it was a qu like, do you have kids? Mm -hmm. No. Do you have pets? No. Well, a cat. Okay. Do you know? You have a you, lot of guests coming. Do you like, yeah, do you like, that was a big one. Do but, you have yeah. a lot of guests? Do you entertain a lot? And we were like, not really. Like, we're kind of looking for an apartment style layout right and we're actually in our exact layout in mm -hmm. this coach which has become one of the most popular integral layouts the 44b mm -hmm. um but you know no booth dinettes no bunk houses no drop down beds for extra people it right. was really like an area where we could work and yeah. also you know where we could relax so the our salesperson really helped us in in narrowing it down to yeah the Integra, i don't know if i would have he got us down to the five or the three I'm not sure I would have gotten there on my own, to be honest. This place was just so big, so it, 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 that was definitely something we, we got a lot out of. So talking money for, for a little bit. Um, it's we did, important. <laughs> yeah. We, besides price, we did finance our, our RV. Um, a motorhome specialist got us our, our financing, um, and it was pretty painless, to be honest. I mean, we did have good credit. Mm -hmm. uh, that did help. Um, we, we did have jobs. That did help. But... Um, but they actually have some, you know, they didn't tell us this, but we've heard kind of on blogs and forums that they, they've kind of negotiated certain agreements. Um, they do have an agreement with Bank of America. We only know that because that's who we ended up getting finance yeah. with. And our home back back in Connecticut, like our traditional home, was a Bank of America mortgage. So it was actually interesting. It was really nice for us because then we had one online banking portal. Our RV showed up with our mortgage for the house that we ended up renting um, when we went full time on the road, and the interest rates were pretty good. I mean, it, it, the interest rates have gone up since we bought, but um, you know, we were like car loan interest rates, like really, really favorable. Um, and you know, the approval process was very simple. They had a whole separate department that handled that for us. It was pretty streamlined. Um, I don't know what they're like if you know you've got B B level credit or you've got some challenges or there's some income issues. I, I'm not really sure, but. But, you know, they, they were able to work with us and, and uh, because they've got so many different product levels, I'm sure they could, you know, work with just about anybody to, to get in there. But we really did have a good experience with, with the finance office. So we didn't take advantage of this, but they do have like a consignment lot here mm -hmm. where I guess folks who, um, who bought coaches from them in the past or who... Um, you know, or didn't yeah, or didn't like the trade in that they were offered. You can actually bring your RV that you own in, and they'll put it on the lot. They'll advertise it for you, mm -hmm. and they'll you know sell the coach for you effectively, and then they take a percentage right off the top. I don't know what the percentage is. Um, not sure if it's fair or not, but it was kind of a nice touch if you're in a rush or you're like, I got to get to Texas and I want to get into my new RV, and I I don't want to deal with my old RV at the time. I'm sure that's a more expensive option than trying to private sell it and spending the time on it, but it's also easier. So it was, mm -hmm. it was a, a nice touch. And you know, conversely, if you're in the market to purchase, the fact that they have that consignment lot means they do have used uh, RVs on the premise. Not a ton of them, probably 20, 30 that are in a line. I mean, maybe it's more. I, I'm not really sure, but we, we'll, we will, we'll kind of you know show you that. But it, it, it's a nice option that they do offer. So one kind of, I don't know if this is a con, but it's kind of a con, um, like they don't really do service here. Um, they'll do warranty repair work from what I understand. Like, you know, if you have a problem with your coach and they're a dealer, they'll absolutely take care of it. They've got a big shop in the back, but I, I don't think this is a place you can come and get an oil change, you know, a year and a half after you bought an RV. I could be wrong. 
if I am, uh, you know, please mention that in the comments. But from what I understood, they're not a service center um, other than for warranty work. Right. So, Or if you do, I think it's a very long wait. Yeah. So, you know, that's the consideration. You know, some smaller dealerships are going to be a full service shop. You buy from them and they'll take care of everything turnkey from you from start to finish. They might be close to your home. Uh, you're not going to get that here from what, from what we, uh, what, from what our experiences have been. There. Another neat uh, plus to buying your coach here is they have a campground that you can stay at. So once you purchase your RV, you can stay at the campground. You can work out all of your bugs. If you have additional questions, like for us, it was our first time owning an RV and the tech came through and walked through <laughs> everything with us. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, gave us a quick, like, here, driving lesson. <laughs> yeah, we, we made friends with the tech after Steve, who he's in our rev video, but um, but he said, you know, yeah, I remember you guys. You went straight for 45 feet, huh? Yeah. And I saw you in your RV, like, you didn't move for about a full day. <laughs> we were and, a little, we were like, did, overwhelmed, I yeah. guess you could say. <laughs> so he, he reached out to our salesperson and said, I think you need to go teach them how to drive, which, believe it or not, was kind of true. So, um, but the campground itself was was really nice. Full hookup, sewer, yeah. water. Uh, it's actually a covered area, um, and it's not really a campground as much as it's like a service bay. Right. But um, we were allowed to stay. I think we stayed for two or three nights. I think you're supposed to only stay for one night, but they were really accommodating and, and let yeah, us stay they for were a couple great. nights. And we had just a few th like things that we noticed that weren't working properly. That way you can get in and see if everything works before you drive your RV off the lot. Yeah, it was, great. it was a little, like a light switch was broken. Uh, right. A couple bulbs were out. Um, honestly, not very much was, was wrong. No. Um, and know. it was really only things that you would notice if you were actually living in the RV. Yeah. So, um, so it was really great to be able to stay for those know a few days to yeah to work all the bugs out and that's kind of a good segue to to my next kind of topic which is that they do a really good pdi or, or like a they do a couple different ones one is a pre-delivery inspection meaning that when the coach comes in from integra or american coach or whoever you know monaco uh, they actually look at it that day like in the beginning and say hey look this cabinet's broken this is going on this is going on this is going on and that, that allows them to get a lot of the stuff fixed in the coaches that are on their lot before people buy them. Mm -hmm. So you're in a situation where a lot of the little stuff is already solved by the time you look at a coach. Right. And, I mean, we went into some other dealerships and you pull pull a cabinet and the handle comes off. And right. it's like, oh, we'll fix that when someone buys it. And that wasn't how motorhome specialists seem to handle it. So that was really nice. And then... When we bought it, so I would call that almost like, I don't know if that's pre-delivery. Yeah, I guess pre-delivery to us, they did it again. And they went through the coach. I mean, it was immaculate. They had um, a cleaning crew come through and, you know, polished everything, cleaned everything. I mean, it was spotless when mm -hmm. we picked it up. Um, it was it was polished on the outside. It was waxed. Um, I don't think it's ever looked as nice as it did that day. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but, you know, and look, we don't have a lot to compare that to. Other dealerships might do that. But we were really impressed that they spent that much time preparing it for delivery for us. And, mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it was showroom quality. Just another thing to mention is it is a big place and it does get busy. So the salespeople are busy and you may not get the full amount of attention that you would, yeah, would I mean, like. Th there's a finite number of sales folks and they're working with a lot of customers and the sales cycle is pretty long. I mean, if you want to feel like the most important person, you know, at a dealership that, you know, you're the only person there and they're putting a hundred percent of their time into you. I, I don't know if this is the right spot for you. Um, or do what we did and come in February. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't, I, you know, and, and that could be different for every salesperson. We only worked with one. Right. That is true. Um, you know, that I was just our kind of experience. Yeah. I think if I were going to, to buy again here now that our salesperson's moved on, I would actually probably go on to IRV2 into the Integra forums for us, but into any forum, honestly, and say, hey, I'm thinking about buying a motorhome specialist. Did anyone buy and who was their salesperson and what was their experience? I think that'd be a good way to to kind of get a gauge for who would who would work out well but mm 
because uh, I'm sure the salespeople all have different personalities and styles, and we can't really speak to that. But, but you know, just kind of at that core, if if you you know want to walk in and and have it be you know totally personalized, I I don't know. This is a big place, so I'm not sure that would be um, optimal. So in conclusion, when you're buying an RV, price and selection are two of the biggest things, and that's definitely what motorhome specialist has. Yeah, um, you know, that gives them a, a big leg up. Um, you know, they, they do more volume and, you know, as such, they can pass along some of that savings to their customers, and we really appreciate that. Um, you know, if, if you asked us, you know, point blank, would you consider buying from them again? Um, we've had good experiences with some other dealerships that we've blogged about, uh, but, you know, these guys would be on a very short list of places we would absolutely buy from again. Um, they're, they're, um, they're, they've just really, you know, they had the, they had the product, they were straightforward about the pricing, they were able to get the financing done, they had the service to, to help us out with any pre-delivery things, and we'd, we'd give them a thumbs up if we had to do it again. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, um, questions, suggestions, edits, I'm sure a lot of people have used Motorhome Specialists. If you agree, if you disagree, please put that in the comments below. We're not experts on this stuff. This is just our opinion. And Yeah, and we'll see you guys on the road. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the blog directly on livinglife.net and you'll receive email updates of all of our posts.